Hello and welcome to the Crown Hills Kitchen. Today we are making shortbread. As always, we're going to start off with cleaning our surface, making sure we've got all the germs and bacteria removed because we're going to be working on this surface to make our shortbread biscuits. Okay, there we go. So, the first thing I'm going to do is a method called the creaming method. Um, this involves sugar and butter. So I'm going to be adding my butter to my sugar and then with a wooden spoon, we are going to cream those two ingredients together. Okay, now to do this, you may want to hold your bowl. Okay, it's a lot easier if you're actually holding it or otherwise it's moving around on the table. I usually start off by just breaking the butter down into the sugar just a little bit, just to get things started. Um, and once we've started getting them two ingredients to incorporate together, then I will lift this bowl up and we will start the creaming method. Okay, and we're about there. So, pick your bowl up and you're going to beat those two ingredients like this. What we're actually doing when we're doing this is we are beating air into the mixture we are mixing the sugar and the butter together and making it all nice, light and fluffy. Okay, you will notice that the yellowness from the butter becomes lighter as it mixes with the sugar and as the air is incorporated into it. Okay, so make it into a nice smooth mixture, bring down the ingredients from those side edges just do a little bit more creaming make sure that the butter there is just mixed in okay once you have that nice smooth consistency we're then going to add flour to this now when we're adding the flour I'm actually going to sieve it what this will do it will help to get rid of any lumps that are in there, but it will also aerate the flour. So it will add some air into that mixture, again, keeping things nice, light and fluffy. Okay, so we're going to put half the flour mixture in there. Let me just get my spoon. And we're just going to use the spoon there just to help the flour go through the sieve and get rid of any of those lumps. Okay. Okay, we're nearly there. Let's get that all in. So once the flour has all been incorporated into the mixture there, I'm just going to change from a wooden spoon to a metal spoon. And we are going to blend the flour, or mix the flour, should I say, into the butter and sugar mixture. Okay, so we're stirring all that in together. And we're going to make it's almost like a ball of dough with it. Okay, mixing that in. Now at this point, I'm going to have to get my hand in there and squeeze and bring all those ingredients together to form my ball. Okay, so let's clean that off. Squeeze together your ingredients. It's going to be a bit messy. Okay. 
what we do when we've got this into a ball of dough clean all around the edges of your bowl as you're going along just like it's a dishcloth as Miss Clayton always says okay we're almost there pick up all your little bits okay and there we have our ball okay so we no longer need this I'm going to lightly flour my surface so that it doesn't stick and what we're going to do is roll this out with a rolling pin we want it about uh, about a centimeter thick okay so we're going to pop that on there it is quite a dry crumbly mix and I'm going to just coat my rolling pin a little bit with flour so just carefully roll out and then turn because this mixture will stick to your table if you don't very dry mixture okay there we go Now, we're there, I think, okay, so what I'm going to do now with this, I'm going to use a pallet knife, this is a rounded, blunted knife, it's quite flexible so it allows you to get underneath so you can lift the, uh, the dough off the table. I'm just going to clean up the edges using that pallet knife. I'm going to make myself a big rectangular shape. Don't throw away those parts because you can use those again and make some more. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to cut these into one inch strips. so that they're all equal. I want them equal because then they cook at the same rate so we get them all cooking and um, finished at the same time and I'm going to just cut these in the centre. I'm going to use my fork to just put a little pattern into the top, that very traditional type of thing to do for shortbread. And then I'm going to put those straight onto my baking tray. Use your pallet knife, just gently go underneath, lift them off and pop them onto your baking tray. You don't need to leave a lot of room, they're not going to be growing and expanding. Okay, and then with the bit that you have left over there, you can bring that all back together, roll it out again, uh, and put that on your baking tray as well. I'm not going to do that bit, but you can do that bit with the bit that's left over there. Then we have some caster sugar. What I want you to do with that is to just sprinkle a little bit on the top of each of your shortbreads there and then what we're going to do is put this in the fridge to rest for 20 minutes this allows the mixture to firm up before we put it in the oven so that it doesn't all just melt okay so i'll come back to you in 20 minutes okay so these have now been in the fridge for 20 minutes we're now going to put these into the oven, top shelf, for sort of 15 to 20 minutes until they get start to get a, a golden colour on the top. Please remember, your oven's been on so it's going to be hot, you will need some oven gloves. So pick that up with your oven gloves, pop it in the oven, top shelf, 15 to 20 minutes. and I will show you what they look like when they are cooked. <laughs> 